Tonight, a local man is trying to solve a tombstone mystery. It began when he spotted the discarded piece of a grave while driving. Now he wants to know how it got there. CBS 2's Nick Calloway has more. Along the busy Soldier Hill Road in Paramus, countless cars move past a sea of gravestones at the Garden of Memories Cemetery. But across the street, one stone caught Joe Schrader's eye. It's hard to miss, at least five feet tall and left abandoned on a pile of debris. Got out of the truck, ran over to it, and sure enough, there's some guy's name written on that thing. The stone reads Jack Katz. He apparently died in 1937 at 37 years old. But where Mr. Katz is buried and whether his grave is missing a marker is hard to say. The stone has been here since the land was cleared earlier this year to build apartments. A manager for the builder, One Key LLC, would not talk to us on camera, but said the company bought the property from the cemetery across the street nearly 20 years ago. He said before that it was used as a dumping ground, and he's confident there are no graves on this land. So where did the stone come from? I called the office here at Garden of Memories Cemetery during business hours, but the staff here would not connect me with the manager and told me to call back on Monday. For now, the stone still rests on that pile of rubble, overlooked by most, but still visible for the world to see. If that would have happened to, like, my father's grave, mm -mm. you know, that's a no-no. After losing his father at a young age, the scene is upsetting for Schrader. To just be tossed aside and forgotten like that. And what does it say on the bottom? Gone but not forgotten. He was forgotten. <laughs> He said he hopes it's just a discarded gravestone and not a desecrated grave. In Paramus, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And the mayor of Paramus says he was not aware of this mysterious tombstone. He said he hopes it is just a discarded stone from the cemetery across the street.